Hey Teddy Bear Junction, this is Russ from The World on My Back. First, I want to tell y'all how excited I am that y'all are following my travels and sharing this dream of mine in South America. I hope that y'all have been learning a lot about the culture, history, and beautiful geography of South America. I have been through Peru and Bolivia, and right now I'm in Santiago, the capital of Chile. I'm so glad that y'all have some questions for me, and I would love to answer them and share the great things that other countries and the world has to offer. The first question comes from Jack. He says, Did you have fun walking on the salt? Hey buddy, thanks for your question. Yes, I had a great time walking on the salt. The salt comes from the southern portion of Bolivia on what are called salt flats. These salt flats are the remnants of huge saltwater lakes a long time ago. Over many, many, many years, the earth changed and the water went away and left behind huge salt deposits. Today, the salt flats are a big travel destination and local towns harvest the salt and sell it to provide for their families. Thanks for your question, Jack. The second question is from Arnov. What will you do when you are in Chile? Hey Arnov, that is an excellent question. I've been here in Chile for about two weeks now, and I've explored the central region of Chile to find a place to live for the next three months. I've decided to live in Santiago, Chile, the capital city of over six million people. I plan on learning Spanish, which has always been a goal of mine. Remember, it's important to have goals and to work towards achieving them. I will also be working here in Santiago as an English teacher, teaching Chilean boys and girls like yourself how to speak English, as well as older kids and adults that want to learn how to speak English. Chile is a very big country, so I plan on traveling and exploring the southern part of Chile over the next three months. Thanks for your great, great question, Arnav. Being here in Chile is the second step in my travels through South America and the biggest reason why I decided to come here. The next question is, do they have cookies in South America? Oh, what a delicious question. Yes, they have some of the best cookies that I've ever had here in South America. One of my favorite desserts is called a churro. Churros are crispy and sweet treats that you can find all over in South America. The best cookies and desserts can be found in places called dulcerias, which literally means a sweets store, or a panaderia, which is a bread store. The next question is from Lizzie. Did you climb a rope when you went up Machu Picchu? Hey Lizzie, I'm very glad that you asked about Machu Picchu, because it is an absolutely amazing sight, and one of the coolest things that I've ever seen. Unfortunately, there aren't any ropes to get up to Machu Picchu. I wish there were, because some of the paths to get there were very steep, and a rope sure would have come in handy. I took a four-day hike through the mountains to get to Machu Picchu, but there is also a way to get there by bus. When you grow up, and if you'd like to go to Machu Picchu, you really should, and learn about the Inca that built it. The Inca are a group of people native to many parts of South America and the people that built Machu Picchu hundreds and hundreds of years ago, before, Incla, before explorers from Europe came over. Thanks for your question about Machu Picchu, Lizzie. Hiking up there was so much fun, and maybe they can put some ropes in for later. The fourth question is from Hayden. Hayden says, Today is my birthday. When is your birthday? Hey Hayden, happy birthday, buddy! I hope you had a great birthday and spent it with all the people that love you with many more birthdays to come. How old are you now, buddy? Well, my birthday is actually coming up pretty soon. My birthday is next month on January 7th, and I will be turning 26 years old. I will be spending my birthday down here in Chile, far away from my family and most of my friends, but I will be able to see and talk to them over the internet. Computers are a great thing when you are so far away from home. Happy birthday, Hayden, and thank you very much for your question. Birthdays are always a fun celebration. The next question is from Addison. Addison says, where are you going next? 
Another great question. Thanks for asking, Addison. I will be here in Chile for the next three months to learn Spanish and teach English, and then I will be traveling through a few more countries in South America. The first place will be Argentina, Chile's neighbor to the east. Argentina is a very big and beautiful country as well, so I plan on traveling through for a couple of weeks. Then after Argentina, I will be going up to Brazil because I've always wanted to learn Portuguese and live in Brazil. Brazil is the only country in South America that speaks Portuguese. All the others primarily speak Spanish. I will be in Brazil for probably seven months learning Portuguese and working there as well. I don't know any Portuguese right now, so it might take a little while longer to learn than Spanish for me since I already know a little bit of Spanish. Then after Brazil, I will head back to Texas in time for the holidays next year. Thanks for your question, Addison. I hope that you get to follow along in the travels all along the way, and I'll make some more videos for y'all. The next question is from Yasmin. She asks, can you take a picture of where you are? I would love to take a picture from where I am. Here it is. This is me here in Santiago in Plaza de Armas, the main square of Santiago and the place where the city was founded in the 1500s. Santiago is a huge city and I'm looking forward to seeing all that the city has to offer. And here's a few more pics of me around the city. Thanks for your question, Yasmin. Happy to show y'all a little bit of my new home. I'm loving these questions. The final question comes from the whole class. How do they celebrate Christmas in Chile? Great question, y'all. Each country has their own traditions for, and holidays throughout the year, and Chile has some great ones of their own. Christmas in South America feels different because while America is having winter during December and January, the whole Southern Hemisphere is having their summer. So, instead of Christmas being cold, they have a hot Christmas. On Christmas Day, it will probably be almost 90 degrees. Chileans celebrate Christmas similar to the United States. They have Christmas trees and Santa Claus and exchange presents with each other. In Chile and other Spanish-speaking countries, they say Feliz Navidad, which is Spanish for Merry Christmas. They have unique desserts. One of my favorites is called Pan de Pascua. Pan de Pascua is a typical Chilean cake that is traditionally eaten around Christmas time. It is flavored with ginger and honey and usually contains candied fruits, raisins, walnuts, and almonds. It's really, really good. Pan de Pascua was originally introduced to Chile by German immigrants and now you can find it at any market or mercados in Spanish. Mmm, it's really tasty. Now I feel like going to get some. They also celebrated Halloween here in South America, very similar to the way we do in the United States. All the kids dress up in their costumes and go trick-or-treating and have lots of candy. But they don't celebrate Thanksgiving in South America. Actually, the United States is the only country in the world that does celebrate Thanksgiving. It is a tradition and holiday unique to the United States. So on Thanksgiving, I didn't have any turkey or pumpkin pie this year. Well, that does it for the questions today, y'all. Thank you so much for these awesome questions. It was such a pleasure getting to read them and answer them for y'all. I look forward to answering more questions that y'all might have in the future. Thanks for your curiosity, Jack, Arnov, Lizzie, Addison, Yasmin, and happy birthday, Hayden. And thanks to all you other great kids at Teddy Bear Junction for following along in these travels. Keep on learning about the world around you and exploring all the things you can. Whatever your goals and dreams may be, you should always give them a try. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and spend it with family and loved ones in a happy new year. Feliz Navidad on three. Ready? One, two, three. Feliz Navidad!